Hello and welcome back. Um, these are really just me cutting in the game. There's not really any, um, whatchamacallit, it's just me, you know, playing through the game. Uh, like, I'm not pausing, except for pausing the doobly. Ayaka and Mr. Shona. Uh, help! Ayaka, calm down. The monsters are gone, Ayaka. Teacher, what happened to Ayaka? She was in a panic after being attacked by a monster. Ayaka, you were attacked? I told you to escape so we're safe. I told you, bitch. Hold on. She should stay here and rest. But don't worry. I'll be with her. All right. I'm counting on you to look after Ayaka. I'll be around a bit more. Wait a moment. I think I have a tranquilizer on my desk in the staff room. Could you bring it to me? Maybe it could help her calm her down a little. Got it. Be careful. Don't you dare die out there. You're one of my best students. Sir, thank you very much. He won't let me talk to Ayaka. <laughs> Showed his desk. Weird. I don't see any tranquilizer. Cause there's a bitch. Nope. None. There's none. He lied. Ayaka! Ayaka! Wake up, Ayaka! I'm sorry. I couldn't protect her. A monster appeared out of nowhere. I couldn't do a thing. Damn it! I failed to protect my student. <laughs> so convincing. Please, sir, don't be hard on yourself. It's only the spirits to blame. We have to do something about them. Wait, you're hurt too. We have to care for this. I'll be fine. Just do what needs to be done. Right. Take this. I found it while looking around. It's... She visited me the day before she went missing. I had... She had something to talk about, but I was so busy I didn't have time to listen to her. I know she was pained, but I couldn't help feel... If I had heard her out, if she never would have left us. I'm not fit to save her. You're the only one who can. Derp, 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 derp. What do I have now? Oh, I just need the one part, which would be her heart. Oh, um, go to for the boot disk. It's not anywhere.
Seven, eight, four. Five, two. Wrong one. Shit, I mean, three, one, two, six, nine. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, I might have to edit this one, <laughs> cause things. You see, my guy's boot disc. Should be enough that I just have it, but like in the Resident Evil series, sometimes you just gotta equip it first. Uh, yes, please. Seven, eight. Oh, I have to do this. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> there, <laughs> seriously, that's hilarious. Okay, and three. Oh, I did it wrong. Yeah, apparently the code has to do with something about the colors on the people's names and shit. Like April Red would be four, and bronze would be eight, but if you don't know, I mean bronze can be considered like a brown or a tan, so it's it's kind of confusing. And like three, Trey Noir. I think it means gray, but come on. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're heading off from now to the cemetery. And as you can see, we have three headstones. Yoshino, Kuda, and Satome. Alright, and putting the body parts is easy as just clicking. It's not that hard at all. All the body parts were offered, but nothing happens. Why isn't anything happening? I should go ask Miss Library. What can I do for you? Huh, you offered all the parts? That's odd. Why didn't it undo the curse? Maybe you'll... Mr. Oni knows something. I forgot to talk to her before. The president's more playful than you think. He's always pulling childish tricks. It can be a real bother. Most of the students here live on campus. Commuting students like you are rare, Na Nami. Me? Up a dorm, of course. I always read that as Dom, so I'm glad that I didn't say that this time. Getting sucked into another world has really messed up the school. And who would have thought that my room in the library would get connected? It's a match made in heaven! Except not. I have a father who loves to experiment. He's always locked up in the lab. It's so worrying sometimes. But I mean, I love books, so I'm always in the library. Hehe, <laughs> I guess it runs in the family. Okay. Um, they actually used that theme when they made Mad Father. Um, if you guys haven't played that game, I plan on playing through that game as well. So, no worries if you have no idea what that is. I will try not to spoil anything. But, um, the same people who made this game also made Mad Father. And anyone who's played both games can laugh about that. And him. <laughs> Oni. You're, you're old tricks. 
I see. So you sacrificed your body at the altar. However, this alone doesn't seem to have undone the curse. We will need a live sacrifice. Live sacrifice? Do you see the red tombstones in the abyss? These spirits are the ones who whose names must be sacrificed to free hers. There are four tombstones. There must be four names. Three of them already have names engraved in them. Just one left. There must be... Someone must be the last sacrifice. <coughs> then I'll... I'll be the sacrifice. That is impossible. The tombstones are a tool for hatred. Surely one who has not earned her resentment cannot carve their name there. You set out to save her. She should not hate you. There are still others alive. Think well on who must be the sacrifice. Someone who Miss Dow hates. Hmm. And I'm gonna save here. And I'm also going to leave this video for now. It'll probably be a short video, but I need to do the timer for the last ending bit. Because I'm stupid. Okay. One last save, and I will see you guys the next video.